Yo, what's good? Y'all ready for some motherfucking art? No. Oh. Okay. Welcome back to Benjamin. It's my name is... What is my name at this point? I don't know what my name is. You decide. Today at the Benjaminitz Museum of Modern Art, we will be once again creating... Something. We will be testing out the revolutionary technology Pix to Pix. And here is a brief explanation of how this works. You draw the thing over here, and you give it a face that it, that it pops up over here. The end. So first, to test this out, I will be creating an artistic render of yours truly. So I have my big, dumb, doofy face. Oh good, my jawline is so chiseled that it's... It's concave. All right, drawing with a touchpad is is not easy. Now I know what you're thinking. My beret kind of looks like a wet paper towel, but that's completely intentional. It's because art reasons. Now I know this looks very scribbly and as if I drew it with a touchpad, but that's part of the artistic message that I'm trying to convey. The sharp jagged edges here are meant to convey my Sharp, un uncut personality. All things considered, this is actually turning out a lot better than I thought. Now this is of course an art piece in and of itself, but we will be bringing this piece to life through the magic of technology. That's right, robots will eventually take everyone's jobs, including us artists, because no one is safe. All right, beautify me. Oh, oh, what's wrong with my mouth? I don't even have a nose, I've got nostrils. Why does my mouth look like an elongated asshole? <clears throat> I mean, <clears throat> It conveys a special emotion that we all feel deep down. The picture on the left is clean and pristine and human, whereas the one on the right is not all right. The shading and detail of the one on the right conveys that that one is the real one, and it's, it's fucking ugly. Basically, we're all ugly deep down. All right, I can't keep looking at this shit clear. Next, we will be creating a render of one of our most famous pieces, Donald Dump. Now remember, Donald Dump isn't just any orange, he's a rotten orange. And the more you can make him look like a cartoonish scoop of ice cream, the better. Always remember to include his banana peel toupee, it's one of the most important parts of his character. Trying to draw anything without a mouth was a fucking mistake. Now I know what you're thinking, what's the point of improving upon this? It's already perfect, but believe me, it can always be made better. Through the power of technology, let us see the real life Donald Dump. Oh, mother of God. Oh, it's trying to generate a shirt. Let me just give him like a, like a body. There we go. Oh God, what the fuck? Well, to be fair, he kind of looks like he has like a super moldy face, so it's kind of fitting. <laughs> Holy shit, he's got the neck vagina. On the left is what he actually is, a rotten orange with a banana peel toupee and a suit, and on the right is what we think he is, a rotten human being. Like actually, literally rotten. His, his skin is rotting off on the right. Like it, it's gonna fall off of his face. My face is not rotting off. That is fake news. You are fake news, Benjamin It's. And finally, we will be creating what will undoubtedly be the most interesting piece in this video. We will be creating a render of everyone's favorite character from this channel, Button the Cat. I'm sorry in advance, Button. So he's got a very sort of round face. This will be the interesting part, how it handles the very pointy ears. Make sure the eyes are going two different directions because he is a very, very stupid cat. Look at that cat. That's a... That's a fucking cat. His fur coloring kind of looks like he's wearing a hat. Here we go, moment of truth. We will be creating a real life rendition of Button the Cat. And Button, if you don't want to live here anymore after this, I don't blame you. And... Oh, all right, all things considered, not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Like they got the black fur right. I didn't expect them to get that much, although I'm not, not sure what's going on with this little afro tower here. This is once again an artistic duality. On the left is what we see on the outside, you know, kind of a doofy looking cat. And on the right is what's on the inside, a, a doofy looking whatever that is. You know, maybe that's artistic too, the fact that it doesn't quite look like a cat. Cause sometimes he acts like a fucking dog and chases his tail. So I think on the inside, he has no fucking clue what he is. All right, Button, what do you think? Does it resemble you? No, look at the, look at the picture. Does the picture resemble you? He's purring, so I think that's good. I, I, th I think he likes it. He li he likes the art piece. It's art, ladies and gentlemen. It's art. Thank you, everyone, so much for joining me here today at the Benjaminitz Museum of Modern Art. Remember to always support the artists that make the art you love. And um, I'm gonna go edit now and try to figure out what the fuck this video was. Ooh.